In Iowa news, the Iowa Supreme Court is getting ready to hear oral arguments on Thursday over Governor Reynolds' district court appeal of the ruling that had law blocked from taking effect pretty much since she signed it last July. The law would ban abortions at nearly six weeks, with some ex ex exceptions, including rape, incest, fatal abnormalities, and when the mother's life is at risk. State House reporter Skylar Talal shows us how the lawmakers are getting ready for that law to be reinstated and the pushback against it. Lawmakers completing the review process in moving forward with rules surrounding the so-called fetal heartbeat law, but they can't enforce anything while the law is still temporarily blocked. At Monday's meeting, a state attorney for the Iowa Board of Medicine breaks down those rules, explaining Iowans have concerns when it comes to medically defining terms like a fetal heartbeat, woman, and unborn child, but says they don't have the authority to change those since they're outlined in Iowa law. Unborn child is the same definition as is adopted in the act, but uh, because of concerns that were raised by the public and by the board, that that is not a term that is used in the medical literature or that is not frequently used by practitioners. It gives, uh, it specifies for reference by the general public that that includes all stages of development, including embryo and fetus. Due to new state rules defining embryos as unborn children and in the wake of a similar Alabama ruling, Democrat Senator Cindy Winkler worries IVF could potentially be at risk. I know what the intent is because so much of this bill did not really include medical terminology when it was passed. Uh, I, I think that it is unfortunate that we have um, these rules in place and will be in effect uh, before the court case is determined. The Republican chair of the committee making no comment regarding those concerns following the meeting. And it's still unclear what disciplinary action doctors could face for violating the new law if enacted, leaving it up to the discretion of the board, which has the authority to revoke, suspend, or restrict a doctor's license or impose a fine of up to $10,000. In Des Moines, Skeletal Law reporting.